In this video, we are going to prove the product to sum formulas using the sum and difference formulas. I have already derived the sum and difference formulas in a previous video, so it is assumed that you already know how to use them before watching this video. We begin with what we already know. Recall the sum and difference formulas for sine. We know that sine of a plus b is equal to sine of a cosine of b plus cosine of a sine of b. And we know that sine of a minus b is equal to sine of a cosine of b minus cosine of a sine of b. Now I'm just going to add these two equations together. So we get sine of a plus b plus sine of a minus b is equal to 2 sine of a cosine of b. And if I divide both sides by 2, we have sine of a plus b plus sine of a minus b all over 2 is equal to sine of a cosine of b. Now I'm just going to rewrite this equation. So sine of a cosine of b, I'm just rewriting what's on the right side of the equation first, and that's equal to one half sine of a plus b plus sine of a minus b. And here is one of your product to sum formulas. For the next formula, we're going to do the exact same thing, except we are going to subtract the difference formula for sine from the sum formula for sine. So rewriting, we have sine of a plus b is equal to sine of a cosine of b plus cosine of a sine of b. And we know that sine of a minus b is equal to sine of a cosine of b minus cosine of a sine of b. And if I subtract, we get sine of a plus b minus sine of a minus b is equal to 2 cosine of a sine of b. And if I divide both sides by 2, we have sine of a plus b minus sine of a minus b all over 2 is equal to cosine of a sine of b. And just rewriting this equation, we have cosine of a sine of b is equal to one half sine of a plus b minus sine of a minus b. And here is another product to sum 
formula. For the next formula, we are going to use the sum and difference formulas for cosine. So we know that cosine of a plus b is equal to cosine of a cosine of b minus sine of a sine of b. And we know that cosine of a minus b is equal to cosine of a cosine of b plus sine of a sine of b. And if we add these two equations together, we get cosine of a plus b plus cosine of a minus b is equal to 2 cosine of a cosine of b. And if I divide both sides by 2, we have cosine of a plus b plus cosine of a minus b all over 2 is equal to cosine of a cosine of b. And I'm just going to rewrite this equation so that it will be written in standard form. So cosine of a cosine of b is equal to 1 half cosine of a plus b plus cosine of a minus b. And here is another product to sum formula. For the last formula, we are going to subtract the difference formula for cosine from the sum formula for cosine. So rewriting these equations, we have cosine of a plus b is equal to cosine of a cosine of b minus sine of a sine of b. And we know that cosine of a minus b is equal to cosine of a cosine of b plus sine of a sine of b. And if I subtract, then we have cosine of a plus b minus cosine of a minus b is equal to negative 2 sine a sine b. And if I divide both sides by a negative 2, we get cosine of a plus b minus cosine of a minus b all over a negative 2 is equal to sine of a sine of b. Now I'm just going to get rid of this negative sign in the denominator so I can rewrite this as cosine of a minus b. So I'm rewriting cosine of a minus b first, it becomes positive, and cosine of a plus b becomes negative. So minus cosine of a plus b all over 2 is equal to sine of a sine of b. And now I'm just going to rewrite the equation. So we have sine of a sine of b is equal to one half cosine of a minus b minus cosine of a plus b. And here is the last product to sum formula. And that is how you prove the product to sum formulas. 
Thank you for watching and always remember that you are awesome.